Hello people of Mid-Sussex. Um, I wanted to put a video together today. Uh, one, because I've got a new moisturiser, my skin's looking lovely. Uh, secondly, I just want to talk about a, a part of the process that isn't really discussed too much when you look at moving house, which is picking a solicitor. And I've done lots of videos over the past kind of four months about how to pick an estate agent. And I just thought today I'd look at what you should look for when you choose a solicitor. So I've got some questions here to go through when you're, when you're picking who to who to instruct to make sure they can conduct the sale in a quick, timely and an efficient manner. So question number one to your solicitor when choosing them is make sure they've got the capacity to get your sale or purchase through within six weeks. And that might sound obscene when you read bits in the paper about sales taking four months, five months, six months, but the reality is it is possible if there is motivation to do it. So to break it down for you, um, your average, average mortgage offer uh, takes three weeks to get. So if you apply for it on the day you uh, instruct your solicitor, you should have your mortgage offer within three weeks. Searches, uh, which the solicitor will do to check the local area, planning permissions, local authority, things like that. Uh, in Mid-Sussex, they're taking three weeks to come back. And further to that, you've got your home buyer survey if you choose to have one most surveyors will be able to come out within two weeks. So in short, in three weeks time, your solicitors should have their searches back, your mortgage offer and your survey results. That then leaves a further three weeks, taking you to the six to answer any questions, ask any questions you may have, go back to the buyer solicitor, any additional inquiries you wanna sort out. So it is perfectly possible, but you need to make sure the solicitor has the capacity to take the work and aim for that time scale because a lot of them will just take on work, keep taking, 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 and then you can't get hold of them they're not coming back to you, they're not prioritizing your file purely on the basis that they've taken on too much work. Um, which almost leads me on to my, my next question. Um, you must ask them for their direct dial, and if they work from home, they must have a mobile number uh, you can catch them on. Again, we see lots of solicitors not replying to emails, not coming back, not coming back to calls, um, and they need, you need to be able to communicate with them. Uh, we get clients all the time asking us to chase their solicitors on their behalf, which we're more than happy to do, but it makes it so much harder when we don't have a direct dial for them um, and they're not returning calls. So that is point number two, can I have your direct dial? Um, question number three, and this is more one if you're not using a local solicitor, if you're using a solicitor that's out of area or you've been recommended a solicitor that's a larger firm, will you have a singular solicitor dealing with the sale or purchase of your property? So what we see a lot uh, with a lot, of law for a lot of the larger corporate law firms is they'll have a team um, of maybe 50 or 60 people all dealing with each other's files and it's very hard for them to pick up on exactly where your, where your sale and purchase is. And what you tend to find is one will have done something, so another, another person picks it up and ends up doing the same work again. And you all, it's very hard to then work out what has and hasn't been done and then what's outstanding. And that just naturally causes delays. And ultimately it's the it's most people's singular, most expensive purchase they will, they will make. So you want someone that you can trust, talk to and communicate with effectively to make sure you're buying something that's safe and you know, you're gonna be able to sell again should you need to in the future. And from, you know, if you're selling, um, but there's no problems. You know, it all goes through quickly in a, in a timely manner because ultimately you don't want the process dragging out for six months with market changes and, and you know, all sorts of other bits. So look, that's very brief uh, when picking a solicitor, but I guarantee if you ask those three questions um, and get the answers that I've, I've just stated, uh, you can look to getting your sale exchanged uh, or purchase exchanged within six weeks. So look, hope that's useful. If you've got any questions, give us a call, um, 01444 254400 and you'll catch me on option one.